Seoul Washington combined drills have been halted back in June as a gesture of good faith to North Korea. Well, now the U.S. opened the door to restarting the exercise the regime dreads. However, the South Korean government claims to have heard nothing of the resumption, adding it's a subject that needs to be discussed. Park Hee-jun has our top story. South Korea's presidential office says the issue of suspending joint military exercises with the United States requires further discussion between the two countries. This comes after U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis said at a news conference at the Pentagon on Tuesday local time that the U.S. has no future plans to call off any drills with South Korea. We have no plans at this time to suspend any more exercises. Uh, we will work very closely, as I said, uh, with the Secretary of State and what he needs done, we will certainly do to reinforce his effort. But at this time, there is no discussion about further suspensions. Earlier in June, after the Kim Trump summit in Singapore, Mattis announced that the U.S. had suspended the exercises indefinitely. As a result, the annual Uji Freedom Guardian exercise was canceled in August. Just hours after Mattis made his latest remarks, Blue House spokesperson Kim Mi Gyum told reporters that South Korea and the U.S. had not discussed the matter. Although the earlier decision only applied to this year's exercises, he said that any changes in the agreement will be negotiated in step with the progress made in denuclearization talks between Pyongyang and Washington. South Korea's foreign ministry says it sees the comments as an extension of Washington's previous agreement with Seoul to suspend the joint exercises and that no new agreement has been made. It added that it will continue to work closely with the U.S. for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Seoul's defense ministry also says that it had heard nothing of Mattis' announcement and that the issue has not yet been discussed by the two sides. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.